gracious God and Father, we magnify you. We declare that you are God and besides you there is no other. Father, in obedience to your word, we stand in the gap for our sisters in government and the public service. Lord, we know that you are patient, faithful, and just, not wanting any of our leaders to be destroyed, but you want them to repent. For your word tells us that a nation rejoices when good leaders are in authority and mourns when wicked leaders bear rule. We also know that when we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So, Father, please forgive us of our sins. Forgive us for greed, hypocrisy, selfish ambitions, injustice, pride, arrogance, witchcraft, adultery, partiality, manipulations, and lying. We cry out to your Father to destroy by fire the black crab syndrome, character assassination, undermining, backbiting, gossip, slander, procrastination, bribery, harassment, bullying, intimidation, and favoritism. Wash our hands, cleanse our hearts, sanitize our institutions from corruption, lack of transparency and accountability and inefficiencies. Father, forgive us for passing judgment on our sisters and turning a blind eye or keeping silent against wrongdoing. So by faith, we call our leaders saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Father, fill them with the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, and knowledge. Impart your wisdom and revelation to them about leadership and help them to lead and serve during this time when the country is in a crisis and pressures are mounting. Father, let our modern day Deborahs, Ruth, Rahabs, Naomi's, and Esther's joyfully and purposefully work in order to help rebuild and restore our islands and nation. Protect them from the slings and arrows of lies designed to reinforce age old stereotypes about women in leadership. Let their speech be gracious seasoned with salt, always knowing how to answer each other. Let them be upright in all of these dealings. For we know, Father, that you will direct them to make sound decisions and that you will give them the courage to step outside of any plan or program that is not synchronized to your will for our nation. We please the blood of Jesus over their minds and declare that they are disciplined and will not be deterred by distractions or interruptions so that they address gender inequality, so that they push for fiscal policies to eradicate gender and income inequalities, and that our sisters advocate for the amendment of laws to accommodate a society's needs, challenges, and growth. Father, your word says, they that know that God shall be strong and do great exploits. And so we declare that our sisters, our women, our leaders are strong and that they are doing and will continue to do great exploits for the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.